stuck indoors, self-isolating, you've got all these skills, watch this video and keep watching till the end. I've got a lot of exciting things to share. Hi, my name is Ewan Smith. Welcome to Ewan Smith Music. I help you make your music masterpiece, but also give you advice on how you can best promote and of course share your music as well. So many musicians have now found themselves in a position where they no longer have engagements, they no longer have work. It's time for the musicians to be able to think, right, how can I use my craft and then use it to then share those skills online. So to begin with then, if you're a performer and you think I would love to share skills with people, the easiest way you're going to be able to do that is by using your mobile phone. But if you've never used your mobile phone for such a thing it's going to probably be a bit daunting when you're using social networks i think it's important to consider using maybe one or two social networks effectively the more popular ones tend to be instagram and twitter and with the emergence of tiktok that gives you an opportunity to do short form videos to your own music to other people's music it could be here's a 15 second idea that i've got i'm actually starting to write some music for tiktok to upload it so i'll be doing short little snippets using the music that i write and if you want the link to that and my socials is down in the description below. So if you want to start a YouTube channel, a YouTube channel is a really important way to be able to share, to entertain, to inform, to educate lots of different people in a way that's quite creative, different and it's free. So it's free for people to subscribe, it's free for you to upload and it's a really good repository for you to store videos but be warned, make sure those videos are marked very clearly. If they are for kids you will have to create a channel that's purely for kids, that means that you won't be able to push advertising it means that you won't be monetized and on any live streams that you do you won't be able to have any comments also if you want to think about a YouTube channel it's really important that you then link that with other services that you use consider that when you sit down in front of a video camera it's about how you come across and the way in which you want to be able to do that so that's going to be a real key factor for you when you're coming to do your online social marketing and performance if you have lost engagement so if you're a performer in an ensemble or if you're a teacher who normally would teach young people how to play think how could I use that existing skill but do it in a different way that would be appealing online so perhaps it could be live streaming a lesson but that's kind of replicating what you do in real life that's not going to transfer quite as easily so you want to think well how am I going to break down certain skills or can I do a little demo of a tune that you're working on or can you break it down or here's a daft game to play around a few bars of a piece of music that you might have been working through with a child or a young adult so there's lots of ideas there but predominantly when you are working at home and when you've got other distractions it's really really important that you do a timetable and a timetable is super important to keep you motivated so if you plan that in accordance with the rest of your family and you make it agreeable or if you're living on your own have a space in your house that's purely for your music activity that is well lit and somewhere that you can just leave your phone set up plugged into a wall socket for power and you can use that as your base for content creation you can go out obviously you could perhaps take your music making outside into the garden perhaps consider doing something that was a bit more freeform so you could walk and talk take your camera with you take your camera phone with you while you walk to the shop to get your groceries although i wouldn't recommend that you go out for a walk at the moment you know lockdown just something that you would be able to share your ideas and share a thought that would be seen to be quite approachable so you want to make it as personable as you possibly can so how do you survive online if you've someone who's made music and you've got a whole host of music at home just sitting there on your hard disk do you know what i think it's time that you listen to it thought about really mixing it or making it as listenable as you possibly can and getting it online there are loads of resources for you to be able to do that i use distrokid which is an online aggregator which is basically it's someone that pushes all your music out to online stores like Apple Music, Spotify and many many others as well so it's worth just thinking what music do I have that's original? Have you got scores for it? Is it something you could perhaps create a pack? Maybe really the thing that you've been desperate to do for ages that you haven't been able to try and get that music out, try and get it heard you never know, it could be picked up and someone will enjoy it. Next on the list is live streaming and or making videos. So if you like Live stream a performance or if you live stream you playing you will find that you can actually build an audience online and actually when it comes back to it when you come to teach again you could promote your teaching face to face but once the live streaming has uh, happened you can build a bigger audience both online that will then feed back into your teaching as well so people enjoy what you do and how you do it they will then think oh I'd like to be able to learn from you or I would like to watch your videos or I'd like to have a one-to-one -one lesson with you you gotta think of it as a cyclical thing whereby the more you 
you put in to attracting people, the more you will be able to benefit from that in the long term. There is a rumor that you have to have a thousand subscribers, for example, on YouTube. That's not the case. If you use apps like Switcher Studio, which is an app that I use to do multiple screen performances. So for example, I've got my face here. I can then tap over to the keyboard, then another view here. It's a really good way of being able to bring in, in a really interactive way, your performance using devices that you already own. YouTube, of course, is a really good place where you can do live streaming. Loads of advice is out there online as well. But if you would want, there's a couple of books that you can look to getting. You can get YouTube Secrets and you could also get Tube Ritual Volume 1. Those two books that I use just to start me off, just to get some ideas of how I can promote myself using a YouTube channel. Other ideas that you can incorporate would be to create for other people. There are always people out there who are looking for people to make content, whether it be thumbnails right the way through to music for a particular production. It could be video editing skills, it could be titling skills, it could be all these kinds of things. Fiverr and other websites such as this are really good for being able to find content creators who will allow you to get assets, get aspects to then in include in your video very, very quickly for between £5 right the way up to hundreds of pounds depending on how you want the quality to be. But of course, if you're a creator, you can create for other people and then that means you can get an income online. So if you are without work for a period of time, it's definitely worthwhile signing up for a site like that so that you can then start to keep making, keep content creation, but also get a little bit of trickle funding in until your main funding comes back in as well. These are all ideas for you. Crowdfunding is another aspect that you can consider. Crowdfunding is quite handy if, for example, you've already got something established and you have started to build an audience, get in touch with your audience, whether you've got a mailing list from a real life audience, from gigs that you do, or if you've got an audience online via subscribers or followers from a social network, it is worth doing something called crowdfunding. Lots of websites do this. The main one, which is Patreon, which if you start with a brand new account, you will be able to charge people in great British pounds and you'll then be able to do some content behind the scenes that you can then allow those audience members to find out a bit more about you and support you with a, a small amount of crowdfunding which is a bit like a membership site it recurs every single month and then if they like what they see they're more likely to subscribe to a membership fee and of course if you get 10 people all giving you five pounds each or 10 people all giving you one pound each between 10 pound a month 50 pounds a month these are all kind of peppercorn amounts that all add up to the bigger picture i'm going to leave some links to some crowdfunding sites in the description below so make sure you check those out last one is merchandising if you're already quite established if you're a band that's never considered merchandising before merchandising is a really good way to be able to bring your audience in to make them part of your brand so if you've got a logo or if you've got a picture of the band that's quite zany that you would like to put on some clothing cups key rings etc find ways in which you can do that you can easily just order a few test samples for yourself so for example you could go to a site like Vistaprint for example you know there are others available but you can go to a site like that and you can get a couple of samples with your logo or your band picture and you could take photographs of those put them on your social networks and if people like them or think oh I would like to know where to buy them then you can test the water and think right I will create an online shop and then ask a third party to be able to print or to design these and then that third party then sends those items to your audience so you don't have to worry about making them ironing transfers on t-shirts or anything like that you could just get the other company to do that for me so these are all ways to survive at home but also online as well as a musician if you've got any ideas please drop these in the description below i would love to hear from you and of course do check out the other playlists and other videos that i've got i've got a great one on how you can get inspiration as a musician i'll drop that in the top right hand side of the screen plus also in the description and also I've got a really good way of how you can sort of beat that anxiety that motivation that you would maybe need to be able to get out good one as well about mental health I'll drop that in the description below as well if you're someone who is really suffering and who really just think I'm just overwhelmed by all this stuff I don't know where to go I can't go outside I've lost all my contact with humankind so many different ways of which you can do that lots and lots of advice lots of lots of good information for you to act on and of course that that then remains to say that if you've enjoyed this video please give it a like give it a thumbs up and of course share this video with other people and of course please if this is something you'd be interested in following over the course of the next few months years and beyond hit subscribe as well as that bell notification so that you don't miss a beat thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye for now
The video on the top is one that I think you will love and the one on the bottom is one that YouTube thinks you will enjoy. If you would like to know more about how to make your music masterpiece then don't forget to click like and subscribe. See you in the next video next week. Bye bye.